Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Uh, welcome to my channel, thanks for watching. Uh, so this is going to be one of my first unboxing videos. Um, I actually received my uh, Maker Geeks uh, monthly subscription box uh, yesterday actually and I had the opportunity to open it today so I just want to uh, show everyone what's in it and um, let's get on with it. Uh, so I have the box down here, it's actually uh, open already. Um, my significant other uh, said uh, don't be that jackass that does an unboxing video. Um, so apparently I'm going to be that jackass, so I'll be sure to send her this video when I get done. But uh, so the box is open. Uh, right off the top here uh, we have a nice little flyer that uh, tells you what's in the box, uh, the different parts, pieces. Um, so we have a nice baggie here with some stickers which are always appreciated and a, a filament uh, and a little thin piece of wire, I don't know if you can see that there, and then a little, uh, what appears to be pin, or uh, uh, a little, uh, like a drill bit or something. Uh, but this is part of the, what do they call it, the cold pull kit, um, uh, the never clog kit um, from uh, Maker Geeks, and so uh, that's awesome. Uh, next, we have some... Some uh, PLA uh, Maker Series White Hot White uh, PLA um, right there, and it says uh, you know uh, print at 230 degrees Celsius, which is uh, very warm uh, for uh, most PLAs. So uh, we'll get to that in a minute. And then and we also have Maker Geeks uh, Dark as Night Black. PLA, also 230 degrees. So, uh, it's awesome, white and black. Um, actually, uh, I'm getting really low on my white. I do have some black and don't put too many things in black. So, on the little instruction seat here, it says, um, happy January, it's cold outside, blah, blah, blah. Um, all you makers out there are cool as polar bears, and that, what better to print outside is a black and white polar bear 3D puzzle. So, Here's the, uh, the puzzle here, and then the link on uh, Thingiverse, right uh, there-ish. Um, and then it talks about the uh, one point, f uh, I'm sorry, 2.5 pounds of uh, a PLA, which uh, is real close to a kilogram. Um, and then the hot white hot, I'm sorry, white hot white. Uh, and it talks about uh, printing it at 230 five uh, degrees Celsius, which is a bit hotter than regular PLA, um, but it says that it's pure USA PLA, um, which United States of America PLA, um, with no fillers, which is why you need to print it hotter than um, some of the other filament you might get from another continent um, on the other side of the globe that is usually lower cost than things from the United States, which you do in your own geography about which continent we're speaking of. Um, Blah, 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 and then the Never Clog Kit uh, to do the cold pull method, and they explain how to do the cold pull method. So, and then a January coupon code, which is awesome, 15% off of um, any order. Um, it's great. So, and I'll probably go and put on the Thingiverse for the uh, our little model here. That sounds awesome. So um, that's what we have this month for January. This is my uh, first uh, box from them. I missed the cutoff for the December, um, but uh, it's because I had my head squarely uh, in my posterior. It's okay. So this is exciting. Um, I really started printing more in PETG or PET um, rather than uh, PLA because um, I've been making a lot of parts that require a little bit more strength, and uh, and I printed in ABS and. Uh, ABS is a mess. <laughs> um, you know, it smells, it's, it, it warps, uh, there's a million reasons why I don't like it. Um, but the PETG has the strength of ABS and it uh, has the kind of the easeability of printing like uh, PLA, so I've really uh, grown fond of it. And I, I actually have some Maker Geeks uh, PLA that I'm printing with right now. Um, so if you can hear that in the background, I do apologize. It's the very crappy um, other continent bearings. Um, on my Prusa i3 Mark II. Uh, kind of rattle around when I get above uh, 40 millimeters uh, per second. 
but anyway, so uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please uh, give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like it, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Uh, please subscribe and uh, leave comments down below if you have any questions. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.